downloading games. Let's download some FPS. Yes, you heard it right. Hi, this is Low End Gaming and in this video I will test a software through which we can literally increase FPS in any game. Loss less scaling. Using this software you apply many upscaling methods and increase FPS and get a smooth gameplay. Welcome to another installment of Cap or No Cap. Let's find out does lossless scaling works or not. So, for the benchmarks I will be playing two games. One offline game that is GTA 5 and one online game that is Counter-Strike 2. Let's start the test. First, download and install the MSI Afterburner. Using this we will cap the FPS of the game. Open the Riva Tuner which is installed with the MSI Afterburner. Here, you can choose to what value to cap your FPS to. First let's start with the offline game. The game is running at the highest settings. Well, in this video we will only focus on the frame generation aspect. There are two modes 2 times and 3 times. Well, to give you an idea this is how the software works. Let's assume the refresh rate of my monitor is 60, and I am getting barely 20 to 25 frames per second in the game, but I want more FPS without losing any quality. Then, first I will cap my FPS to 20. Set my game to windowed mode. Open the loss less scaling software and set mode to 3 times and click on scale. This will generate 3 times the FPS you game is capped to. That is, in my case 20 times 3 is 60, which is my refresh rate. Note that you cannot generate FPS more than your refresh rate. Well, it may also happen that, you are getting a smooth 40 plus FPS in game, but you want a 60 frames per second experience. Now, you can cap the FPS to 40 and select the 2 times mode and run the software. This will give you a 60 frames per second smooth experience. As 40 times 2 is 80 which is greater than 60. Keep in mind that you can't get more FPS than your monitor rate. It wouldn't make sense in loss less scaling because it generates fake frames, so more frames than refresh rate wouldn't decrease input lag. I hope you got an idea of how the software works. Let me show you some benchmarks. So, first assume you are getting 20 frames per second in a game and it is laggy and not smooth FPS. Cap the FPS. Setting the game to windowed mode is necessary or the software won't work. Then, select the 3 times mode and click on scale. And boom you can see the difference. If you getting 40 frames per second, then you can follow the same process and get a smooth experience. Now, we have checked that it works for offline game, and it works for every offline game. Just cap your FPS, set the game to windowed mode and click on scale. Well, let's see what happens when we try it in an online multiplayer game. Again let's assume you getting a smooth 20 frames per second. Cap the FPS, set the game to windowed mode and open the software. Select times 3 mode and click on scale and open your game. Now, boom. 20 times 3 is 60, and that is what my game is now working on. The same goes for 40 frames per second. You can cap to any FPS value, it's not necessary it should be 20 or 40. Depends on how your game works, but make sure that if you are capping your game to 20 frames per second then your game must run on constant 20 frames per second. And also, remember you can't get more FPS than your monitor refresh rate. The game should be running in windowed mode, or the software does not works. As you click on the scale button, switch back immediately to your game window. So, this software is fun to experiment with. I can't tell you a particular set of settings, you have to find what works for you best. If you are a low-end PC gamer, I urge you to give this software a try. It's not free but you know how to get it for free. Now the question arises, is this cap or no cap? Well, here is the answer.